Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be talking you through the extreme drop to the downside that we are seeing here on the Bitcoin chart with as always a very big smile on my face because we have been ready and waiting for this drop to the downside taking many short positions on Bitcoin and in today's video I'm going to be covering the major crucial level of support here on the Bitcoin chart. The next level of resistance should we get a rise that we can be looking to take more short positions, overall going over the highest probability trade. This video, I truly believe, give me 10, 15 minutes of your time and pay full attention and it will change the way you trade forever. This video is gonna open your eyes to how we consistently make money trading as champions. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to absolutely love it. It is, as always, a pleasure to share this knowledge and insights with you. And without further said or do, let's get into what we absolutely love. And that is, of course, making money trading Bitcoin. So bam, let's go. Obviously, picking up the way that I run my videos is I cover the last 24, 48 hours of price action for the educational reasons. You can really start to learn from what I teach you here. And then we're going to be covering the move that's happening right now you know, our next level of crucial support where we can be looking for if we get a bit of a bounce here. So let's go. That's what we're going to be covering. Second, what's happening right now? Let's cover this section of the chart, okay? Picking up from the last video that I made, the absolute last video that I personally made covering Bitcoin technical analysis, that was obviously from the 12th of November, where I was talking through the short positions that I had taken on Bitcoin from $69,000, our current level of support, and where we're looking up as our next level of resistance. That next level was directly above us, obviously, the daily, just above $66,000. So that exact daily level that we were looking at, $66,000. Okay, you can see how it was perfectly well respected. We did get a move up towards the highs. We bang into the daily. We obviously get a drop. So first of all, you can, you can see these levels are not random. They're very well respected. But what did we have on top of this? So I'm going to highlight to you, you know, just an eye-opening post here. If we are forgetting for a second that we have seen a move up and down, what are we looking at in this section of the chart? Of course, we have harmonics, we have Fibonacci, and we overall got a sideways range. So this is an eye-opening post for you that was posted here. And again, I do not trade off of other people's analysis. I do my own analysis. I make my own plans. But I do enjoy watching some of the Moon Boys um, titles or statements because it for me is just hilarious. And we had a hilarious one on, on Sunday uh, at 6 p.m., which is right here on the Bitcoin chart. Uh, one born the infamous MM crypto dump before huge pump. I see this and I post to my group, okay, so it's, it's pretty much confirmed, let's be honest. We are going to pump before a huge dump, e.g. the exact opposite of what, of what he's thinking. Um, it was kind of funny, but <laughs> he's looking for a dump and then a pump. So I'm saying, okay, we're going to pump before a dump is pretty much confirmed, okay? Well, and obviously, as as we move on through the chart and we move on through the day, again, this is posted at, um, you know, 6 p.m. on Sunday, which is, is literally here, by the way. He's looking for a dump and then a pump. I'm looking for the pump and then the dump. You couldn't make this type of stuff up. We move on throughout the day. And guess what? Up as we reach that high around, you know, coming into midnight UK time on the Sunday, it's really not that difficult. <laughs> We got the pump as we were looking for, and you can kind of see the thought process here. Pay attention here. So what happens? We get our move up. We're moving up towards that daily, okay? You can see here, midnight, coming into then the 15th, which was Monday. We're moving up towards that daily, e.g. we are ready and waiting to take an actionable trade. We know our level of resistance. We know what's directly above us, and we know that you know, everybody's hyping into their long positions. And there's a few really important factors that you need to pay attention to here. A really good question, and this is what is absolutely obviously invaluable <laughs> to be inside the champions group, because you can ask questions and get responses from myself and the team. Okay, this is just crazy, the amount of assistance that we can give here. The guy questions me saying, isn't this big interest in open interest bullish, okay, as opposed to shorts closing on eagle time? My exact reply is, this is lots of wrongs opening, yes, perfect to get trapped. E.g., I'm envisaging they are going to long heavily into the daily, they will get trapped, causing a move to the downside. So it's all starting to formulate the plan. Uh, you've got Jack, a new member of the Champions Group, saying, or 
maybe I'm wrong and the market is back to being bullish. I simply reply, hey, <laughs> you will be surprised. <laughs> surprised he hopefully was not if we got the drop. And of course, people are pretty obviously stating the level that I'm going to be defending. Daniel defending the daily, Tom Jones, the legend himself. Just wait till Daniel enters his short at the daily. Wait for the inverse head and shoulders. And you couldn't have made it up even better. We kind of get the news articles coming out. Bitcoin's biggest upgrade in four years. Taproot. Oh my God, isn't this so bullish? Um, so you just kind of get everything coming together in here. Okay, this is the trapped longs that I refer to. Okay, obviously I was predicting before we had even hit the daily, by the way. Remember, we had not hit that daily. I'm predicting trapped longs into the daily. And this is what occurred. Okay, we... Just for reference, by the way, this is on this section of the chart. We see a swing failure pattern of the last high. Swing failure pattern of the last high. This is what we call order flow. And, um, you know, if you don't understand how to read order flow, of course, this is what I teach in the Contenders and Champions group. Uh, but you can see here some pretty amazing statistics. When we originally got that first move up, you can see the open interest greatly increasing. 44 million positive, though 164 million candle. We are seeing a lot of FOMO longs occurring on the breakout. Okay, as we progress through the day, we start to see more in in open interest increases. And then here, the final nail in the coffin, so to speak, a 16 million long, followed by a 43 million new long position on our 111 million candle which formed our swing failure pattern right here right here okay is when we got that final push to the upside and we really got the confirmation of trapped shorts yeah if you look at the top of this candle at the absolute 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 high of the candle we zoom in here we see the volume 7.4 million bought at the absolute high 11 million 5 million 6 million 1.5 million eg the longs went absolutely crazy why was this why were there so many longs opening at our big level of resistance? The level that I am ready and waiting to short. So why are there so many people longing here? Okay, as Tom Jones said, <laughs> wait for the inverse head and shoulders to enter the short position. And what did we have? We were waiting for the MM or Cole <laughs> breakout videos. And exactly as predicted, oh, you couldn't make this up. You really couldn't make this up. CC Paul send their regards because what happens? <laughs> Apparently, the head and shoulders is playing out exactly as predicted from his video the day prior. So, e.g., we're up at that $66,000 level. We have now seen a swing failure pattern of the high. We have now seen over <laughs> of the course of the last 24 hours, over 100 million in trapped longs. We are at our daily level of resistance that we have been ready and waiting for. And what happens? You start to get you start to get the moon boys saying, hey! exactly as predicted we're breaking out from the inverse head and shoulders before i mean you just you just could not make this up you could not make it up we have we're seeing insane levels of fomo insane levels of fomo and like i was saying that cc pool again because absolutely it went exactly as predicted not the breakout not a dump then a pump but as we originally thought we got the pump before exactly as predicted the huge dump where from the daily no random levels in this chart no random levels at all harmonic rejection from 69k retest 69k range breakout of a funny head and shoulders chart uh people going crazy long in the breakouts and this is not my opinion, this is a hard, cold fact. We can see the massive increases of open interest in here. 44 million here coming up into 16, 43 million at the absolute higher to move. It's a paradise for a person that knows how to trade. This is an absolute paradise. Why? Because we are gifted. We are gifted an absolute easy short entry. Easy invalidation with your stop loss above the high. And where have we actually come down to in the end? We've come back down to our monthly level. OK, that monthly level obviously sitting at fifty eight thousand eight hundred and twenty two dollars. OK, what we could say, though, is our crucial, which I would refer to as a very crucial level of support, comes in slightly lower. If we zoom out a little bit here, we can obviously see our, our, our lower daily level. You know, we have this bit of a, a boundary, so to speak. The lowest one is fifty six thousand. But we have this higher daily level here, which for me is very, very important, coming in at about fifty seven thousand dollars. We can look at a bit of a zone. So about fifty seven thousand, you know, we could look three hundred dollars below that, three hundred dollars above that. But that zone of fifty seven thousand, fifty six thousand seven hundred, fifty seven thousand three hundred. You know, there's a bit of a zone of this daily it is absolute crucial support. We can see it lines up with our last prior lows. 
We all know that, well, if you, you know, if you're in the Champions Group, we have massive volume levels around here. It's, just a, it's an absolute, what I would refer to as a kind of a crucial level of support here. Uh, obviously, currently bouncing off of the monthly level. Okay, so currently bouncing off of that, which we have bounced off of prior. Of course, when we put in the, once again, the, the fake out of the head and shoulders. EG, you can kind of see what we're doing here. When, 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 when everybody starts focusing on these patterns, when everybody starts calling for breakouts, we are doing the absolute opposite. We are just remaining patient and we've made our plan. EG, we're not counter trading people. You can see how some people are like, oh, hey, they counter trade us. It's like, no, if, if you're longing into resistance and we're shorting, we're doing that for a technical reason. It's not because of anybody, what anyone else is saying. It's like, you are never going to see me longing here. You're never going to see me shorting here. You're never going to see me longing here. You're never going to see me shorting here. I've took shorts from here. <laughs> I've taken shorts from here and I've sculpted along from the monthly. So it's like, <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm ready and waiting with my plans. And then it's just execution, execution, no hesitation, not being scared, just trading exactly the plan that I have more made before it's happened. Yeah, I've marked out my levels. I'm aware of the next trade when it comes to my entry and I'm given a trigger. I'm taking it. No emotions, no emotions attached. OK, so that obviously brings us up to where we are now. And before I get onto that really quickly, Two announcements. Obviously, the first is that we have a contender stream tomorrow. So if you're interested in learning about the order flow, seeing and understanding trap longs, trap shorts, understanding how we can trade our fake outs with really strong risk management, the psychology aspect and the emotional aspect of trading, all of that is covered in, in all of the website content that we have. Obviously, chartchampions.com. We have a new live stream tomorrow. Should you be interested for the contenders? That will be tomorrow, obviously, over on the website. Second announcement is that I am doing a special altcoin live stream on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So in two days time, I'll be doing that special members only altcoin live stream, which I think is going to be absolutely golden. Why? Because we have finally seen the big drop on the altcoins that we have been waiting for. Those accumulation patterns are finally coming back down to the entry zone so that we have been waiting for. So I do think it's going to be an absolutely amazing live stream to cover those alts because of the drop that we are seeing. And that will be covered on Thursday, obviously, once again, for the contenders and the champions. If you want to see that, chartchampions.com. Obviously, you get the all of the educational content to understand things such as this. And then you get the bonus of me now going to cover the altcoins for you on Thursday. So there we go. That's just the two announcements that I wanted to make here. We now move on to what is happening right now on the Bitcoin chart. So we obviously have finally got that pump before the huge dump. We have dumped down strongly to the monthly. Obviously, we've also hit the one to one Fibonacci extension from the all time high to the low to the high that's put off on the daily. We have hit the one to one extension off of this. So we obviously now have a few key levels of support and resistance support. I believe I've covered here. We obviously have the monthly that we currently bounced off of, but bearish market structure obviously remains so one could say it's still probable to come down for another recess and then obviously below us we have the, the key 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 dailies okay but above us i think this is the more interesting part the above us then so what would we be saying okay i as a trader acknowledge price can go up down or sideways i acknowledge i do not need to know where price is going in order to make money I only need to know the levels where I am willing to short and the levels where I am willing to long. I only long if price goes down. I only short if price goes up. I am not going to FOMO into longs at resistance. I'm not going to FOMO into shorts at a support level. I am having to remain patient for the next highest probability trade. OK, so with that said, where would where could we class a high probability trade from? Well, I think we can understand the last floor of this range, which is obviously coming in at around sixty two thousand dollars. This is going to line up fairly nicely with a Fibonacci taken from this high to this low. You can see this comes in at sixty three thousand dollars. And this is obviously then going to line up with this kind of old area where we have put in, you know, if we ignore the wicks here, we obviously found a decent amount of support, decent amount of support, amount of support, and then support that was holding up yesterday for about five, six hours before obviously the drop. This has been a key SR level on the CC Fibonacci retracement. Things that I would personally be looking for if we get this bounce, I would have to be looking obviously at the order flow. We would be looking into this thing such as the how is the open interest going on this rise to the upside? 
what is the delta of this move? What, you know, are we seeing any CVD divergences on the rise to the upside? These are all absolutely crucial bits of information that you're going to want to monitor. Again, I say this because you cannot predict the volume before it's come in. It's one of these things that you have to be ready and waiting for. I say that <laughs> even though I predicted that we would see trap longs before we even saw trap longs, but that was under the general context of, hey, we're coming up to the daily. We are already seeing FOMO longs come in. We're starting to get the moon boys come out with their, with their exactly as predicted um, head and shoulders patterns. That was just a high likelihood that you see traps, trap longs and we, and we dump. Here I'm saying fr from here, we really do need to monitor, you know, we do need to monitor how many longs are coming in, how many shorts are coming in, the volume that's attached to that with obviously the delta and the open interest. So it's not it's not really that hard to foresee like when it's when it's coming in at the time. It's just that if we rise to that price, this is a crucial bit of information that we're going to be wanting to monitor. OK, um, if everything goes well and you reclaim that, of course, we can be looking back up to the daily. And then the level above that was obviously sixty seven thousand dollars. These are still levels to be aware of. I think you would you would trade towards the CC, the daily 67K. Because if we reclaim that, you can look towards all time highs again. But we're not necessarily, you know, I'm not really thinking of all time highs. While well, we are still, first of all, within bearish market structure. So you come down on a lower term time frame. You can see this whole move high, low, lower high, lower 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 low. Unless we can change that market structure, this could still be a lower high. Okay, so obviously to change that, we would have to re basically reclaim sixty one thousand. Let's just give it a bit of a zone and say sixty sixty one thousand six hundred. If we start to reclaim that high, well, and then of course we are starting to change market structure. So this is this is a quite a simple way of trading, really looking at things such as market structure. But it's a very powerful way of trading. So you're not, you know. You're not sniping levels, but you are trading at least with an increased probability in your favor. Um, for me now, as I, as I said in my last video, I'm really happy to sit in short position. I'm really happy to collect funding, wait for a proper sign of strength. Yes, I am sculping some longs, like I was sculping longs in this range. You know, I was happy to sculpt longs in this range, happy to sculpt long off of the monthly. But for me to get more aggressive and add more size and close short positions, I now need to see an initial sign of strength. I could be looking for that market structure change. I could be looking for a reclaim of the CC here. Overall, you know, I want to actually see the market show me something. And unless the market shows me something, I am in, you know, I have the upper hand here. Yeah, we are the casino. We say the trades we want to take. We wait for those trades. We take them. And we're sat in heavy, heavy, heavy profits. Yeah. And it, that is not random. It, you know, we were prepared. You probably saw this tweet that um, <laughs> that we were talking about the other day. It's like from December 2020, the 27th of December 2020, I was waiting for sixty nine thousand dollars. And then almost one year later, we hit sixty nine thousand dollars. So to say that these levels are random is obviously insane. Like the levels are amazingly well respected. You just have to be patient. And then execute, like not get scared. Now that's the main thing. Anyway, I, I, I kind of digress because I don't want this video to go on too long. We're already at the 20 minute mark. So, yeah, all I will say is, you know, if you want to see more from myself, I mean, I could do a whole video talking about some of the, the, the this. I mean, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, you can absolutely smash that like button as hard as you can. If I have opened your eyes to how we are trading, how you cannot be fooled by some of the, you know, I want to say fake traders out there, then absolutely smash that like button and share this video with as many people as possible because we are truly, truly able to assist and help many people. Yeah, because we are we are actually using actionable trading strategies, not just hopium, not just based off of hope, but based off of hard cold facts that we can see on the chart. Order flow is a fact. It was a fact that we had 40, 43 million trap longs at the highs. Yeah, this is no not based off of hope. This is not based off of luck. This is based off of being the casino and trading what is actually happening. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. I hope you've enjoyed my analysis. I really do. And of course, I do end with the disclaimer of I am not a financial advisor. OK, and everything that I do is for your education and entertainment. OK, so with that said, hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. Smash that like button. And if you want to see more from me, of course, chartchampions.com.
Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day and I will see you in the next video. That's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.